the record-setting heat wave across the expanding country here right now. More than 200 million Americans, that's more than half the U.S. population, will be affected by the excessive heat this week. This comes as firefighters continue to battle multiple wildfires across Arizona. According to authorities, about 160 people have been evacuated from Maricopa County Sunflower area to a Red Cross shelter. Our Nicole Skanga is in Phoenix, which was really seen the worst of all of this heat with 25 consecutive days of temperatures above 110 degrees. I can't even believe I'm saying that. Uh, Nicole, how are you this morning? Good morning, Jerika. It's just after sunup here in Phoenix, and already it is 92 degrees. Current forecasts show that the entire month of July could potentially see highs of over 110 degrees. And it's not just in Arizona where we're seeing potentially life threatening heat. A TikTok user captured this frantic scene in South Texas. Bystanders breaking through the windshield of an SUV to rescue a baby from a hot car. The family accidentally left their keys in the car and a number of people there jumped into action. The baby appeared to be okay. The potentially deadly heat will remain an unrelenting health hazard for much of the South, including Miami, which was placed under an excessive heat warning for the third time in a week. In nearby Homestead, Florida, a vigil was held Friday for 29-year-old Efrain Lopez Garcia, a farm worker who died of heat exhaustion earlier this month. So we are hearing of more deaths. In Texas, the governor has signed a law eliminating mandatory water breaks for construction workers in Austin and Dallas. How are these people supposed to work in these types of conditions? Velma Infante's 24-year-old son Gabriel died of heat stroke while laying fiber optic cables during last summer's Texas heat wave. She's filed a lawsuit seeking more than a million dollars against his construction company, claiming it didn't do enough to protect him. He was a good son. He was an excellent son. He never got in trouble. A part of me is gone. You feel this is a preventable tragedy? Yes, it should have been prevented. And we reached out to that Texas construction company for comment, but have not yet heard back. Now, here in Phoenix, amid these record-breaking temperatures, Arizona's power grid operator could see their eighth day in a row of the highest customer electricity use ever. Jerika? And, Nicole, I know you started off saying that it is over 90 degrees there right now. How are residents in Phoenix uh, dealing with these changes? And this long a period of time with temperatures over 100 degrees. Yeah, Jerika, already 92 degrees here. No signs of stopping. Yesterday's high, 114. Saturday, 118 degrees. And we are already cooking. You know, in Maricopa County, officials confirmed at least 18 heat-related deaths so far with scores more under investigation. And they are worried about that number increasing, particularly among the unhoused and the elderly, which are vulnerable to this kind of heat. Uh, so here in the city of Phoenix, there are respite centers that mm -hmm. have been uh, set up. There are hydration stations throughout the city. There are, you know, heat advisories in effect and, you know, authorities warning folks to keep inside. You know, if you are going to go outside, try to limit that amount of time. Uh, if you have pets, you know, don't walk your dog for more than five minutes. Keep those outdoor times short. Yeah, a lot of changes that people are making to stay safe. And as you said, the city and, and counties opening up places for people to shelter and stay cool. Um, but as we know, there are several wildfires burning across Arizona right now. How is the excessive heat impacting the efforts to contain those fires? Yeah, it's making it more challenging, Jerika. Residents in part of Arizona ordered to evacuate on Sunday. Dozens you mentioned in Maricopa County as this wildfire continues to burn in Tonto National Forest, uh, about 58 miles north of where I'm standing. Another fire raging about 100 miles north of here in Yavapai County. Uh, six active wildfires. Folks also evacuated in that part of the state amid, again, these excessive heat 
repeat warnings and you know officials warning that this is just the beginning of the fire season. In fact, you know, meanwhile, in the Pacific Northwest, fire crews have been waging burnout operations there with dozens of crews deployed in states like Oregon, you know, controlling these raging wildfires. And again, you know, officials predicting there is more still to come. What with the wetter winter weather pushing back the timeline on this season's wildfires. Okay, a lot to unpack there. Thank you, Nicole.